Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner below, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Dinar community. You will have the planner not only on your desktop computer at home, but also have the Currency Exchange Planner app on your phone at exchange. You will have everything right in your hand you will need to safeguard your exchange. The banks are counting on you coming in emotional and in disarray to pull the wool over your eyes and take advantage of you. I always say it is better to be overprepared than not, also you will sleep well at night and have extra peace of mind knowing if the IRS comes knocking at your door, you will have all pre and post RV documentation needed on hand when they request it, and they will, as you will have deep pockets at the point and Uncle Sam will be wanting everything they can get their hands on. Get your copy below, in the description today. I also recently did a video on the new Carrot Bar Savings Program. If you have not checked it out yet, now is the time to get involved so I can help you to protect your money from the pending upcoming financial crash. It's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs and everyone else loses their hard-earned cash in the banks. Get yourself registered today and be a part of my savings team of tomorrow. Make sure you don't lose everything in your regular bank accounts owned by the crooks that don't care about you. Do you really think they just let your cash sit in a vault until you come pick it up again? The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money. It is a gold savings program that takes the blockchain technology to the next level to protect your savings in gold. Gold is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program with me. Do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand-in-hand -hand with each other in protecting your family's finances. The Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program is also free to register. Get set up now. The link to the Carrot Bar Savings Program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Get involved in both of these programs today. First article of interest for today. Kuwait's foreign reserve rises to historic record. The foreign reserve in Kuwait increased by 3.9% reaching 12.254 billion Kuwaiti dinars. $40.5 billion, during November 2019 compared to from 11.794 billion Kuwaiti dinars, $39 billion, in the same month of the previous year, the Central Bank of Kuwait, CBK, said yesterday. The CBK report showed that the reserves included 11.502 billion Kuwaiti dinars, $38 billion, in total currency and deposits in about 563.9 million Kuwaiti dinars, $1.86 billion, in special drawing rights with the International Monetary Fund, IMF, as well as 156.3 million dinars, $516.7 million, in reserves at the IMF. They also included the country's gold reserve which amount to 79 tons of gold with a book value of 31.7 million dinars, $104.8 million, according to the World Gold Council, WGC. Kuwait's economy depends on oil revenues which constitute more than 90% of government income. Kuwait produces nearly 2.8 million barrels of oil per day. Next article of interest. Iraq maintains its arrangement and ends last year without buying gold. The World Gold Council affirmed that Iraq finished last year without buying gold, indicating that it has maintained its global ranking. The council said in a statistic published on its website during the month of January, that Iraq did not buy any amount of gold during the year 2019, noting that the last purchase for it was in 2018 by which it bought 6.5 tons to add it to its reserves of 96.3 tons. The council added that Iraq still maintains its fifth Arab position, which came after Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Algeria and Libya, 
and on the 38th position globally out of 100 countries included in the International Financial Statistics for the Global Reserves of Gold. The Council noted that the United States of America is still in the first place with the largest reserves of gold in the world, as these reserves reached 8.133.5 tons, followed by Germany with 3,366 tons, while Yemen occupied the last position with 1.6 tons. It is noteworthy that the World Gold Council, which is based in the United Kingdom, has extensive experience and deep knowledge of the factors that cause the market change and its members consist of the largest and most advanced gold mining companies in the world. Next article of interest. Blashart calls for regional developments not to hinder the demands for reform in Iraq. The United Nations representative in Iraq, Janine Blashart, called on Thursday that regional developments should not hinder local priorities and demands for reform in Iraq. Regional security developments must not meet local priorities and demands for reform, said Blackshart in a tweet on her Twitter account. The voice of the people, expressed peacefully, must be heard. Killings and kidnappings, the use of live ammunition and threats against demonstrators must be stopped. The perpetrators must bear responsibility, she added. Next article of interest. Iraqi Kurdistan President Calling on U.S. Troops for Help the president of Iraqi Kurdistan is insisting the region needs the help of American forces to fight ISIS terrorists. On Wednesday, President Nekhervan Barzani denounced a resolution passed by the Iraqi parliament over the weekend to cancel a request for military assistance from a U.S.-led coalition. This comes as Kurdistan officials expect to be caught in the crossfire as tensions rise between the U.S. and Iran. Barzani is also calling for de-escalation in order to safeguard the region from military conflict. We are against this and we will make a serious effort, so that the Kurdistan region in Iraq will not be the scene of the existing conflicts, stated the Iraqi Kurdistan leader. I, as the president of the region and with the prime minister, am in contact with all parties concerned with this issue both abroad and at home where we make a great effort represented by me as the president of the region, the government, and parliament to maintain security in the region. Meanwhile, President Trump said he's attempting to de-escalate tensions in the aftermath of the Iranian airstrikes. However, the president has imposed powerful sanctions and retaliation. This comes as Pentagon officials say Iran intended to kill when it attacked American personnel at two Iraqi military bases this week. While speaking Wednesday, General Mark Milley said Iran was trying to damage the base's structures and equipment as well as kill American troops. Next article of interest. Deputy Basaroon, restoring confidence to Abdul Mahdi violates the demand for authority and we are committed to that. On Thursday, the deputy of the alliance of Riyadh al-Masudi affirmed that a demand by some Shiite forces to restore confidence to Adel Abdul Mahdi is possible in the constitution, but that they do not comply with the demand of the reference and the protesters, noting that the political blocs began a massive movement since yesterday to get out of the crisis of naming the next prime minister and his cabinet. Al-Masudi said in a statement to the information that the position of the Sadras movement remains firm in the matter of choosing a new prime minister in line with the demands of the Iraqi people, represented by integrity and power, not weak and widely popular, as well as its conformity with the rational reference specifications. Al-Masudi added, the demand of some Shiite forces to restore confidence again to Adel Abdul Mahdi from the constitutional point of view is possible but it contradicts the demand of the authority on the light of which Abdul Mahdi submitted his resignation, stressing that the Sadras movement does not deviate from the religious authorities' advice regarding the caretaker government. He explained, the political blocs have begun to move with all seriousness to consult to end the crisis of the new government file, and that Mr. Sadr's invitation to limit 15 days to name the government is a motive for all political blocs. In addition to his call to the Iraqi people to interact with the choice for the purpose of preparing for early elections. Next article of interest. Parliamentary economy. The China agreement is valid and will not be held up by the escalation. The Parliamentary Economy and Investment Committee confirmed, on Thursday, 
that the Iraqi-Chinese agreement will not be stopped or stalled due to the current escalation and tension in the region, indicating that there are traders seeking this escalation in order to achieve gains at the expense of the Iraqi people. Committee member Nada Shaker Jowda said in a statement to information that agreements between countries must be respected, and what happened will escalate and threaten to impose sanctions on Iraq, although there is no seriousness to impose them in a realistic manner, and even if imposed, the agreement signed with China will not be cancelled. She added that many of the challenges facing the government with regard to unemployment lack of employment opportunities and the stoppage of agriculture and industry, pushing Iraq to search for other alternatives for the purpose of diversification and reviving the economic reality, by heading towards the bodies that serve Iraq, stressing that, the agreement with China is beneficial to Iraq as it deals oil for projects. Gauda called for, avoiding intimidation and fueling the street by promoting sanctions and economic crises noting that there are commercial parties seeking escalation in order to achieve profits at the expense of the Iraqi people. Next article of interest. Iraq begins to activate the contract to purchase S-300 from Russia. The head of the Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee, Mohammad Reda, announced on Thursday that Iraq has started activating the contract to purchase the Russian S-300 air defense missile system about three months ago. The Iraqi army has air defenses with a maximum range of 20 kilometers, and they are distributed among sovereign and important targets in forbidden areas in the country, Raza said in a statement reported by Iraqi News Conscious and viewed by him the information. Reza added, about three months ago, the contract with Russia to arm frozen air defense was activated to provide Iraq with S-300 missiles with a range of 200 kilometers, which is good for the geography of Iraq. For his part, the ministry spokesman, Brigadier Yair Asul, confirmed that the ministry has been developing the military system and that there is a contract to purchase F-16s from the United States, as well as importing Korean May T-50s and Czech made 159s. Next article of interest. China. We will sign a trade agreement with America next week. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce announced today, Thursday, that the deputy prime minister and head of the negotiating team in the trade talks between Washington and Beijing will sign the one-phase agreement in Washington next week. Gao Feng, a spokesman with the Ministry of Commerce, said Vice President Liu he will visit Washington from January 13 to 15. Gao told reporters at a regular press conference that the negotiating teams from both sides are still in close contact on specific signing arrangements. U.S. President Donald Trump said on December 31 that a one-stage agreement with China would be signed on January 15 at the White House. Trump also said he would sign the agreement with high-level representatives of China and that he would later travel to Beijing to start the next-level talks. A one-stage agreement reached last month is expected to reduce customs duties and increase China's purchases of agricultural, industrial and energy products from the United States while addressing some disputes over intellectual property rights. Next article of interest. The Iranian Central Bank. We have reached better methods of providing foreign exchange and selling oil. On Thursday, the governor of the Iranian Central Bank, Abdel Nasser Hamdi, announced that he had come up with better methods of providing foreign exchange and selling oil, and that economic conditions were good. The Iranian oil today is being sold and its dues are being collected, Abdel Nasser Hemti said at the 80th anniversary ceremony of the founding of the Iranian Money Changers Union in Tehran, noting that the exchange rate of the real has recovered since last night, and that this base will continue. He noted, the American president's threat to impose new embargoes on Iran in his recent speech, considering them as flimsy allegations, and that the bank is ready to nullify the effect of increasing American pressure. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks throughout the day. Download your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner right now, the number one tool made by Denarians for Denarians. Check it out today, the link is in the description below.
gain the upper hand that the banks don't want you to have. They are counting on you to come in confused, in disarray and not organized. With the currency exchange planner on your side, the banks don't have a chance at pulling the wool over your eyes. Also, get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free to join, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash. One of the true forms of money away from the fiat system, gold. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.